What's up everyone? I'm going to show you another workout. I call this the hinge time under tension complex. Um, you're going to probably want to use a bell that is your working weight bell. Don't go too crazy with it. If you're more advanced, you can definitely do this one with a, a much uh, heavier load. But especially if you're learning the movement, just use your working weight, maybe even slightly less. So there's multiple rounds. Let's just take a look at round number one. The goal of this is you're going to try to do all... Nope, no, that's not what we want. Let's try that again. You're going to try to do all five of those things in a row without taking your hand off the handle. So you're going to do five hikes, five static start swings, which is just one swing at a time, five swings, five static start swings, and five hikes. So we're kind of doing a pyramid from the ground up. So I'm going to run a clip and show you what round one would look like. So these are the hikes. Notice I'm not rushing, I'm making sure that I'm set between each of them. There's my static starts. One, two, three, and again, make sure you're set before each rep. And then I move on to just five swings. Then I'm going to go back to my static starts for five. One, two, and three, four, and five. So a lot of people, when they do these, actually have to stand up at some point and just shake out their legs. There's my five static starts, and then I'm going to finish up with five hikes. So I'm using a pretty light bell just to demo the video. But my legs were on fire. This is a tough drill. So again, this is one where as you're doing it, make sure that you're, um, you're in the correct starting position. If you get tired, I've seen people that try to push through this when they're tired and they're completely out of position. The whole point of this is to work on that starting position, work on the hike into that first swing, which is usually where people have the, wor the worst swing. Their hike's a little bit off and their first one to three swings kind of are just so, so... This is going to really force you to focus on the start of each rep. Really, the easiest part of this is just the actual swings. Um, but that was round one. Round two, I would just do the same thing, but this time I'm just going to do four of everything. Four hikes, four static starts, four swings, four static starts, four hikes. I'm going to take a break. Then I'll do the same thing with threes, and then twos, and then ones. So this in itself can be your workout for the day. Or this can be, if you're a little bit more advanced, this would be something that maybe you do before a complex. It really will get your hips nice and fired up. Um, it's a really good lap packing drill too. So especially if you're struggling with things like hikes, getting your swing started, take your time with this one. And again, if you have to let go of your handle and stand up and shake it out for a second, that's okay. But your goal is to try to make it through without taking your hands off the handle. Last thing before video is done, if I zoom in right there, <laughs> that's Kengo, my puppy. He's doing a really good job of sleeping. See here, he's got his bone nearby. It has nothing to do with the video, but it's important that everybody knows that. If you see Kengo, love him. He loves you. Okay, give this a try.